Today the Lord is releasing you and he said, release my people, release my sheep. So I release you in the name of Jesus. And today you are released in such a way that you will go as per the leading of the Holy Spirit. Before this, the Lord had asked you to wait and you were waiting upon the Lord to release. The Lord God himself must release you. And he said, release my people. So because I have authority in the name of Jesus, I release you all. I release his people. I release his sheep. I release my people who are God's people. Now you must understand why you were kept in that situation for a longer time. Only to prepare you, not to hurt you, not to harm you, but only to lift you up above your fears. When you are afraid of so many things, how will you walk in the path of righteousness? So the Lord God took you into that place, into that room, into that home, into that area, into the situation and among those people for a longer time. In spite of your prayers, you are not yet released from that time, from that moment. And you knew that you have been waiting upon the Lord. Lord, when will you release me? You had been staying in hotel for a longer time and you were not getting a home. Because the Lord knew, even if you are put into a home, you will be afraid of the locality, of the circumstances, of the neighbors, of the people of your own country, the people in your job. The Lord wanted to make you Look upon him for everything. Now you are released because after these prayers, during these 40 days of fasting and praying, you are delivered. Now you know your righteousness. You have seen him working in your life. You have seen that you are highly favored. He has shown you how much he loves you. When you know that you are the blessed one of the Lord, you are the beloved one of the Lord, you do not have self-condemnation. When you know that you love him and he loves you. The day when you know that now I will be released because he loves me and I love him. This is the only one relationship that we must seek here on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven, everyone loves Jesus. There is no other love. There is only one love, the love Jesus. The name of the love in your life must be Jesus. Now, that love has come because he has shown you how much he loves you because you have come closer to him during these prayers now when you receive the deliverance now you are rescued you are set free yesterday the lord said that now you are unstoppable because of the faith of the righteousness now you are not worried about anything now you know that he is taking care of you, you are under his protection, he loves you, he cares for you and he will not let any harm come. Another thing the Lord says that now you are spirit led, you are received the anointing, you are under the anointing, you are connected to me, you are connected to the spirit of the living God. This prophetic channel is for those whom the Lord is sending to get connected to me, the anointing. The Holy Spirit, you must get connected to Holy Spirit, then your life is beautiful. But you are kept in that environment to learn what is not from the Lord, how it is painful and it is hurting. But what is from the Lord, it gives you peace. You are not condemned anymore when you are connected to the altar of the living God. Because the devil is condemned. The one who is condemned is the devil. And when you get connected to Holy Spirit, the condemnation is over. The condemnation was because of the Ten Commandments. You are still obeying your forefathers. You are still listening to the demons, the forefathers' demons, the ancestral demons. You are still obeying them. In that case, you will have the condemnation. But when you are delivered, you are not obeying the demons, but you are under the submission of the Holy Spirit. When you are connected to the anointing of Apostle Paul. During this 40 days of fasting and praying, you will see that there is amazing change in you. Because of this, the fear has gone. Now you see you are sleeping so peacefully. And for those who think that they are stuck in a situation 
and you also knew that there is preparation for you the lord says today it is over you are prepared and good to go for the next level for the next promotion because the fear has left you the fear of what people will say the fear of what this will happen a fear of so many things the fear of marriage many people are afraid to get married because they think their marriage will not succeed many people the women they are afraid of childbearing because they think they cannot feed their babies many people are afraid of going into new situation they are afraid of so many things you might be afraid of the neighbors you might be afraid of the new job the new business but the lord prepared you he prepared you because biblically when you get connected to the holy spirit the presence of the lord is with you now you know there is nothing that can trouble you there is nothing that can damage you there is nothing that can cancel and spoil your destiny in the lord now you have overcome your fears and you are good to go now you are good to go into the promised land where you shall meet godly people where you shall be protected and you shall be under the lord's anointing and you shall be with the angels of god there is a time of testing in the wilderness and there is a time when you are released the way jesus was tested and when the testing was over he was released and immediately devil satan left him and angels of god came then you are good to go so today is the day the lord says you are good to go he has done testing you he has done uplifting your faith he has done increasing your focus he has done the works the preparation upon your body upon your mind and he has uplifted you you are good to go according to his plan according to his purpose now the same trouble he will not ask you to face the same things because you are saying i'm tired of the same things i don't want the same things but today it's over and it's over in real it won't come back to you the lord will not ask you to go to the same things again so you knew you are lowered now when you are lowered you felt bad because you knew you are humbled and lowered but he, the same lord god jesus christ who started it he is not now going to lift you up and the life is going to live, be lifted up in such a way the graph the graph i'm showing you the graph it will go up up it can for according to your faith it can go the elevation will go 45 degrees it can go 60 degrees it can go 90 degrees but it is going up now you will see that you are being lifted up amazingly the same people will not come into your life anymore because you had been praying that you don't want the same friends the same people around you you want the best so now the time when the fear has left you when the fear of people of world has left you when the fear of those people who had threatened you to kill you has left you when the fear of those people who had beaten you who had accused you falsely the fear of condemnation has left you the fear of the curses has left you when you know no weapon forged against me shall prosper when you know this verses when you are believing and prophesying it daily in your life that day is the day when you are released when you are prophesying it in faith and you know no weapon forged against me shall prosper that day is your day when you believe and you know and you live the word of god so whatever you may do you know that you are not condemned because you have holy spirit being led by the holy spirit you are not condemned we are all the children of god and now when we all together form this home this blessing you very well know that the devil will be put to shame in the mighty name of jesus amen god is my shepherd i shall not be in want we thank all those who are honoring the lord with their wealth and for all the offerings we bless you with a hundredfold of return my beloved ones if you have not yet received our lord god jesus christ if you have not yet received the holy spirit we shall pray a small prayer because repentance is at hand
Our Father in heaven, we come into your presence to our Lord Jesus Christ. And today we receive salvation. We receive Holy Spirit into our heart. Oh Lord, forgive us our sins and help us to be born again. We shall seek you, O Lord Jesus Christ, unto Zion. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. My beloved ones, with this small prayer of repentance, your sins are forgiven and you have received Holy Spirit within you. You shall walk the walk of righteousness.